Welcome to episode 5 of CIS Speaks. Uh, this video is sponsored by New Era Manufacturing Designs. We go here, we go there to uh, manufacture parts, learn how to machine, learn how to program. We worked hand in hand with the owner, uh, Mitchell Sand. And I am Adam. I am a senior. I am, this is my third year in the team. And I am the build lead on 4607. <clears throat> I'm Avery, uh, I'm a senior, and it's my third year on the team on build. I'm Eric, uh, it's also my third year on the team, and I'm on the build side, and I'm a junior. Okay, so what do we got for first topic? Drill carbon fiber from oh, 2019. Yep, that was a good time. Oh boy. So last year we used Oof. carbon fiber to uh, mount our electrical modules and our pneumatic modules mm -hmm. just because it disperses static good and it's lightweight. And it's pretty. Oh, we figured out the hard way pretty. Pretty. that carbon fiber is very strong, it's very hard, yep. and it's not fun to cut, drill, or do anything with. No. And because of the particles that come off it when you do it, you have to do, you have to do it underwater, use water abatement, yeah, and, uh, and we were wearing respirators, so yeah. we'd sit there for about five minutes, drilling one quarter inch hole. Oh, um, yeah. who was that? Was it? It was me, Jack. Were you? I think I was there. I yeah. was there in the beginning of the day. Yeah, went to and strategy. Trent. Uh, basically, we spent ten hours drilling two sheets of carbon fiber mm -hmm. underwater. Uh, for what was the biggest hole? Like a three quarter inch hole. Yeah, yeah. We had to do pilot holes. Obviously, we started at like an eighth inch. And the eighth inch alone took two minutes to drill the hole, and With the three quarter drill bits. Yeah, the mm -hmm. three quarter. Once you got to it, it was like ten minutes to finish it out. I think LP <laughs> LPI probably bought about two hundred dollars worth of drill yep. bits. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we went through a, one drill bit would last about two holes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <coughs> it was a really good time. Yeah, it was not fun. If you don't have CNC machines, I do not recommend. Doing yeah, no, fiber. definitely. <coughs> yeah, I wouldn't do that in house. Yeah, for the carbon fiber of this year was our intake rollers. We had to, uh, so I think we were taking one inch polycarbonate tubing it and was, putting, that was one inch OD, and we were taking one inch ID rubber tubing and no, putting it. No, it was um, one and a quarter inch OD and then one inch ID yeah, tubing. So the, yeah, so the, the rubber tube was smaller than the polycarbonate. It's really grippy on polycarbonate. Yep. So we, we had to use... Uh, Don dish soap as lubrication to get them on, and then we uh, stuck a pneumatic hose in it and filled it up and turned the regular on the air regulator on the air compressor up to like 100 psi. Yeah. Filled it up with air, and we had one per. We had like three people just three people shoving it on, pushing it on, and it literally it took us like what like three hours to do three of them. Yeah, well, it was one, one it was, was fast. It was weird because on one nice. was good. We did the you same. You had to get the air just right. We did the same technique pretty much every time. The first one took like half an hour. And then the second one went so fast, we uh, started the air compressor, and right away it just shot on all the way. Mm -hmm. And the third one, we were like, all right, let's just do it again. And it took, like, 20 minutes. Yeah. Well, I don't know if there's really a technique to it. No, I, I, that's just it, though. Like, I've seen a lot of a lot of teams using, like, a sim similar type of rollers. Yeah. And I feel like somebody would have came up with an easier way to do it. Who knows? <clears throat> yeah. Highlight last year, the... Champs, that was fun. In, oh, yeah. in Detroit, mm -hmm. we uh, had some fun in Detroit, right? Especially the scooters. Scoot oh yeah, lime scooters the, are fun. Yeah, the lime, lime scooters. scooters. Lime scooters are yeah. fun. I swear, I spent forty bucks on lime scooters <laughs> last year. Remember when the the one that I had just like broke, and then like, yeah. and then uh, <laughs> the next day you found out it yeah, charged you two hundred dollars. Yeah, I went back on the app on my phone, and it was still was running. It was running for like twenty five hours or something yeah. like that. I went on there and it was like 200 bucks and I'd like get a hold of the company and stuff and I'd tell them like yeah. they literally would not let me end the ride so you know, and that was we found a lot of ones that were like already like like they were half on like they had mm -hmm. been deactivated but they were still running mm -hmm. so we'd get free scooter rides around <laughs> Detroit yeah. I went two weeks and it was charging me I got really? home really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got home and I'm like I think it was yeah it was like 400 <laughs> but I didn't charge my card though, so oh, yeah, I don't you know. basically just got a free ride. Yeah. Yeah. All you gotta do is just not shut yeah. them off. Uh oh. What else we got? <clears throat> Dedicated girl. So uh, yeah, I feel like when I first joined robotics, 
like my mom made me join and I was kind of mad at her for making me do it <laughs> I thought it was like the stereotypical you know robotics team and stuff and then for it, I'm like proud to say that I'm on robotics now it's kind of oh, weird yeah, yeah, like yeah. now people like make fun of me or whatever in school I'm like okay <laughs> yeah. I don't care and, it was I guess pretty, <laughs> and okay and it's pretty much the same for me like my parents said I could either, like, I'm, like, six one, so yeah. everyone's like, why aren't you in basketball? I'm like, I'm not joining basketball. My parents said you can either join basketball or join robotics, and I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I was like, I was like, yeah, I guess I'll just go and show up, and so I don't have to play basketball, but then, <laughs> but then I was like, this is really cool. Yeah, like, like it was, robotics it's fun, is fun, and it we, teaches you a lot of stuff. It's just so cool. You weren't on build first year, really. You no. half well, first year, I was like, I didn't know what I was doing really. Yeah, you didn't really do I was like helping Blake out with marketing because mm-hmm. like the, like Photoshop and stuff. That's kind of fun. Mm-hmm. And then I like got into the shop one day and I was like, Where has this been since I joined yeah. the team? And then fun. I just stuck to it. It was pretty fun. Yeah, I'm really happy I joined Vox. It's so like we just sit in the shop, build poopy robots and mess around all day. <laughs> it's so much fun. How'd you yeah. join, Eric? You I was in FTC. So yeah, yeah. I did like, I don't know, probably three years of that almost. Yeah, I did a and year then, that. So then, yeah, me and Keegan really wanted to do, or I don't know, Tom, because Tom was on the team, one of our mentors, mm-hmm. and he's he was Keegan's dad. So me and Keegan were on FTC. He wanted to get us up here. So he talked to Yurik, and he got us in our freshman year. So me and yeah. Keegan came freshman year, and yeah, I just because it was either do FRC or do FTC again. And I was like, no, I'm not doing FTC yeah. again <clears throat> because yeah, it was just it was so like in the league we were in. There's just everyone was like in like fifth grade and like I don't know. Not that we were like, they still beat us, but. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But yeah, so we just did uh, FRC, and that's yeah, that's when you guys joined, and then mm-hmm. that's good I don't know. That's I, uh, that was it though. Like I did like Carter Gustafson joined with me. Like yep, I didn't have I any remember, right. like it was me and Carter Gustafson and you. And, yep. Like those were my only friends on there. And then we got Dylan and Toe and all them to join. Oh but, yeah, that was a great time. But yeah, Coming and in I was the day of Kickstarter. Yeah, no, but like when I first joined, like I did not like it. I I remember going to Mini Mini like the first time that was like kind of like this kind of cool like. Eric McCullough got me in the pit, and I was I rebuilt one gearbox, and I was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> yeah. And then I don't know, it just, went, it just went up from there, and it's been a lot of fun. You now we all got big roles in the team, and yeah, for sure, a lot for of fun. sure. But yeah, robotics. No, I, I thought it was gonna be like a bunch of like serious nerds, like yeah, beep boop bop. Yeah, be, yeah, exactly, beep boop bop, and then like. We just mess no, around. It's not at all, really. No. no. Pretty sick. <laughs> How bad we build robots. <laughs> That's probably my favorite topic. Okay. So we have kind of a we have a Becker sketchy, engineering yeah system. Becker engineering yeah. core. Mm-hmm. So uh mm-hmm. yeah. So like for instance, putting new gearboxes on uh on our uh, robot from last year, because we're getting rid of them, our West Coast Drive three cent ball shifters, uh, we couldn't exactly fit a nut on one of the bolts because it was up against a frame rail, and we couldn't get it in. And I didn't feel like doing more any more machining or taking anything apart. Yeah, yeah. So we just sent a really long 1032 bolt through it and put a zip tie on it, and it's held for like three months. Yeah, if you here, here's the deal: you got to get it like right on the base right. of mm-hmm. where it's going. Like really tight against it. You gotta grab, grab a plier. Send it home with the pliers. Yeah, yeah. cinch, cinch, it, it, all, cinch yeah. it as hard as you can, and it'll never come off. No, is it, I swear those things. Zip ties are, so are like universally good for anything. They are. We were, we had mounted some talons with some the other day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shooter. Well, we had Shooter the whole uh, the whole polycard plate held on. Yeah. With the zip nut. Yep, yep, and. Well, me and Eric with that index the electrical here. board too. Yep. Yeah, the that was held on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the zip tie. Are, most carbon expensive. fiber that we yeah, spent yeah. three days making. Most expensive part and hardest to yeah. make part of our robot held on by a zip nut. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's and just how much faith we have in them. Don't. Zip ties are amazing. <laughs> but like, me and Eric, when we were making the uh, prototypes this year, the whole indexer hood was held on by zip yeah. ties. Yeah, yeah. Through, sent through 2x4s too. Yeah. It's yeah. a quarter inch hole through 2x4. Mm-hmm. The zip tie. Really. It's 
amazing innovation. Mm-hmm. Oh, what, other what else have we done? That mm-hmm. um, the tensioner for the motor, or um, yeah, the belt tensioner on the motor for the elevator last year's robot. How you oh, you yeah. tighten that bolt and yeah, it comes. Towards I made that in like two minutes, <laughs> and I would just put slap the trunk of two by one aluminum in the mill and just started milling. I didn't even know what I was doing, and then I took a billet of aluminum and put two quarter twenty tap holes to it and sent and then. <laughs> Without asking anyone, I just drilled two holes in our frame and then set the bolts through those and then we <laughs> tighten up the bolts and would pull the whole block and the gearbox and everything towards <laughs> yeah. the back of the robot. Or no, towards the front the of the robot front. and t- and tension the belt and that held for good. four competitions. Yeah, that works that was really good. No, I held for it held the whole off seasons season. we go to four off season events. It held for like eight competitions. Yeah, it literally held for eight competitions. One of the bolts is bent like a twenty degree. Oh angle, yeah, it was like but yeah. <laughs> But it held. Yeah. It's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, we have... So, we're not really good at building robots. <laughs> and, like, we have ne- we had never done an elevator since 2015. Yeah. And there's no documentation. Nobody was on None the team None of us are on the then. team from then. And so last year, we just did an extrusion elevator. Mm-hmm. And it, it was not good. Steel bearings versus aluminum extrusion. The yeah. steel's always going to win. So, you could, like, take our elevator and, like, jiggle it around from last year. So... At IRI, you're having a lot of binding issues, and my boss, the owner of New Area Manufacturing, uh, Mitchell Sand, he uh, decided to come with us to IRI, and he had a toolbox in the back of his truck, and he saw that we were having that issue, he's like, oh, I know just what we can do. He goes out and buys, he goes out and grabs a, what was it, uh That graphite yeah, lube. Molly, yeah, molly denim disulfide. Yep. Dry, <clears throat> dry lube. It's basically like molly denim disulfide in a, uh, in a, uh, spray paint can it's kind of like it feels like graphite like from a pencil you know like when you get like the yeah. dust in your fingers exactly like that we just mm-hmm. covered the mm-hmm. entire elevator in it so like then it worked it worked good yeah it's still on there it's good stuff we got over everything we got some on the electrical panel but we don't need to talk about <laughs> well, yeah, that well yeah <laughs> just like Dr. Pepper but joke so <laughs> oh, we got a few of those yeah we're, we're a little like immature so Back when memes were like really big, and there was like the memes with just the B, the B emoji, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'd be in the yeah. shop and nobody would know what we you were just talking about. We just replace every single letter, like every consonant you can think of, just replace it with the letter B. We had our own language. <laughs> yeah, thing, so man. like I, I was talking to Avery once when we were at my house and we were, I had chocolate chip cookies in my RV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were sitting there playing like Guitar Hero or something. My like basement. I looked at, I just like turned my head really fast, looked at him, I just went. Bucklet pit bookie, and then we <laughs> we both just sprinted to the RV. Right? <laughs> we just and knew. grabbed chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, you just know, <laughs> chocolate pit bookie. That's the one. God, what else do we have? We have a bunch. Oh, we oh. have you guys imitating Marge Simpson now. Oh yeah. Oh, that's annoying. I don't. If we do that, it might be way too loud. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna yeah. destroy everybody. It's good. It's well, it's not Marge Simpson. It's like a combination it's of a Mar- it's Gingy? Marge, Gingy from Shrek, uh, um, Gingy. Elmo, Elmo, and Bobby Hill. Bobby oh, okay. Hill, yeah. Because yeah. you know we aren't good at impressions, so if you just no. combine a bunch of them, you can right. just say it's all of them. You win. Yeah, yeah every time. You win. <laughs> win every time. Yeah, what else? Um, yeah, the, oh, there's that the video of um the, those cars. With that voicemail that girl left her ex-boyfriend, Eric likes that one. Well, I don't, I don't remember. The, and I miss you. Huh. <laughs> that I miss one. You. And it's like two. It's like an Audi and a Bugatti taken off. Yeah, and then <laughs> so it they, sounds like cars. The, uh, <laughs> oh yeah, we, yeah. we got Mr. Zimmer, our wood tech teacher. Yeah. He's a wrestling coach, and there's a picture there's of a him. Picture of him just going like. Doing like the He's rocky like, air fist. Thing, yeah, yeah. You know, when that somebody got of, somebody pins someone, and then you know, there's just a lot of memes. A lot of memes that came. Like good meme platform. I like, can't think of a lot. Uh, when the dust collection gets yeah, turned on. Do, yeah, he's got... A bunch of stuff like that. He's pretty uh, strict about the dust collection. And yeah. He loves turning that thing on. So. Mm-hmm. And the time saver. The time yeah. saver, yeah. yeah. Craig Jig. Craig, Craig Jig. Craig Jig. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Wow! Oh, right. oh yeah, every L- every LGM, every large group meeting we have, we have uh, like some of the leads. We put like, I had a picture of Jason when, uh, like on my slide today, I had a picture <laughs> yeah, when of when he was like seven. Jason, another one of our members, playing <laughs> in the sled. snow when he was like seven. Ben Fishbox are always. Oh, the best. Ben has some great he ones. Was, he was a weird looking. He's kid. alumni now, but <laughs> yeah. 
Never forget him. That's like half my camera roll. Right yeah, now. yeah. <laughs> just pictures of sister's Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, oh he, she's got a lot of pictures. Yeah, through that ben's baby. sister's Instagram is just chock full of good ones of Ben. <laughs> yep. Talk about obey, Eric. Obey. 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 So, that was already kind of talked about. No. Nope. We it? haven't talked about going to his house and doing it. Obey. So, <laughs> one of our uh, <clears throat> team members, Trenton, uh, his, one of his favorite, favorite shirts was a uh, camouflage obey, uh, what was it, like a rain, or like yeah, a windbreaker. Yeah, yeah windbreaker. windbreaker. Yeah. That said obey all over it. And me and Jason would would screw around with him in uh, one of our classes in school and he'd always yell at us and act like he was the teacher. And that's when we didn't really know him. And we'd uh, we just say obey, 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 obey to him. And we'd bow down to him. And then uh, that just kind of escalated it yeah. and it snowballed. We took the he, mower. He joined the team, them. yep. So then he joined the team and so we did a little obey in here and there. Sprinkle it in on him. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, he's my neighbor. So we rode a, a lawnmower. We rode some lawnmower. A lawnmower that does some, wheelies. Yeah. Over to his and, house. Uh, and I was I was standing maybe a moped the, or two maybe. It was really scary because it's a lawnmower. Yeah. So it's, but it's it's geared up. It's meant for one person to drive. Right. But, well, we had three people and two vehicles. So yeah. I was riding on the wheelie bar yep. of the lawnmower, and you do a wheelie. Yeah. And it was kind of scary. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. The Murray. The Murray. The Murray. So yeah, we'd go to his house, we'd go in front of his house, and we'd get on our hands and knees and just obey. Just yep. go to town. You bow down. Just get yeah, obey and get on your hands and knees and obey like he's yep. like an emperor or something. Yep. Yeah. He'd send him videos up and he'd get so mad. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny though. Yeah, that was a while ago. We need to get another I think we group, need to uh, obey again. Obey sesh going yeah. on, you know? There's been a lot of like good things like those lawnmowers that came out of the shop at your house, Eric. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah we There's got, some items. Remember we, we were doing so many wheelies on that lawnmower. At like nine o'clock at night, and then the yeah. belts. Then Jason the belt exploded melted. the pulley. Yeah, yeah. the pulley melted. He split the aluminum pulley in half on the yeah. lawnmower. <laughs> like the, I'm trying I was to go through a foot of snow and yeah, he was, trying to, he was trying to rub it out. out. Yeah, oh well, God. The moped. The moped. Are we allowed to? Pretty much everything you build Dylan Winter does and wheelies. Blake had to borrow some mopeds. Yeah, one Blake time. bought a moped. Yep. And God, he loves them. He loves the thing so. Dil- they go on like pet. sunset cruises. Dylan would give Eric ten bucks a day for the moped and thing. Those we wheelies. Use, like twenty cents in gas. Yeah. <laughs> I used to work at the hardware store, and those two came in. I don't, I don't. I think you were just saying hi. They were, but they came in, and they're like, "Avery, come check out Dylan's new car," and I was like. Okay, and it was just a black moped with a wheelie bar in the back, and I was <laughs> I mean, like, I don't Wait, a razor, razor scooter. scooter, yeah, yeah razor, razor scooter, scooter cut like, in half as a wheelie bar. <laughs> and he was, and then they were like, all right, we gotta leave. And Dylan just does like a forty-second long uh, wheelie on the moped. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, are we allowed to release confidential information that hasn't been on the fan page yet? What's that? On the podcast, on yes. the podcast, the fa- yes. oh, the yep. fan page. Yeah. Yep. So Eric's got like a. What is that? Uh, Very nice. What Maple. year is that? Like Very nice. 1999. Like 99. Honda Accord. Accord. Yeah, that, yeah. That's his beater car. It's you got the favorite. bumper back on it, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Oh, you oh, reinstalled. You on. Well, but, uh, you didn't need Yeah, he has a fan page of him just beating on this car, <coughs> doing dumb stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, for his, his, latest, his latest thing, for his area, why don't you talk about yeah, it, Eric? Please explain. So right now... Well, we'll go back on the accord a little bit. Yeah, give us the, so, the, the back. This was this was July time. I just got done sinking my snowmobile in the lake, <laughs> and I and I'm scrolling through the old Facebook marketplace as usual, just the morning routine. Mm-hmm. And Honda Accord pops up for three fifty, and I say to him, I say, I say, three hundred. I'll come today. Is my just my strategy for marketplace? You know, really get them down on the price and say, come today though. That gets yeah. them every time. Yeah, they so, like. That. And he was in St. Cloud, so me and Aiden hopped in the old silver dough mm-hmm. and uh, drove to St. Cloud, picked up the car. It didn't have an exhaust at that time, so it did. Uh, I remember that. Yeah. It was quite the item, driving yeah. on Highway 10, trying to go 80. Right away, didn't you take it through the woods? Yeah, yep. so <laughs> we get, it, get her home, find some minimum maintenance roads, see what the old uh, front-wheel drive machine will do. Mm-hmm. We did pretty good there. And then I got an exhaust, put exhaust on, 
now we are here today with tracks with mm -hmm. it's a snow machine now yeah so we got uh wrap some stone wheel tracks on the wheels and uh, both snugged them down real good and uh, that's my ditch banger so oh, yeah did you uh, you pounded two by fours in the suspension oh yes tool. lift kit two by four lift kit <laughs> courtesy of mr. Zimmer's wood lab <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we got that going for us uh, license plate in the window now like a true yeah, racer, oh, a true JDM a race car, yeah. yep JDM enthusiast um yeah that's about it uh yeah. she's burning a good court every couple hundred miles tell so them about the keep it the candle up. we lit under the candle we have had some candle moments in the car <laughs> sometimes in robo we never order hardware so we have to go to uh Hardware's local true value yep so we that's the honda's job it's the parts runner yep. so we and go uh, and every uh, time on the way it seems yep. to just light up we either yeah get some good odors or some uh heat Heater, heater, yeah. The well, heater. What was what was that? Was oil, a wasn't there oil, wasn't there oil leaking out of the head onto the man? Yep. Yeah, it was covered it's in oil. Of, yeah, and we opened the hood. the hood and coming down yeah. back <laughs> onto the exhaust, and it lit on fire. And there's yeah. there's a little fire under the yeah. under the head of the engine. Yeah, so we just kind of <laughs> just blew it out, gave it a little blow, and kachow, kachow. It was really good. Great time. Yeah. So yeah, that's where the Honda's that's at. When, right oh, that was when you let me drive it. Yeah, well, yeah. I don't. I, I know how to drive a manual, but I'm not good at it. Yeah. And I put about three thousand miles in about three to three miles. <laughs> yeah, thing, about so. yeah, one mile. It was so. good though. Yeah. Burned yeah. a little extra oil for that one, but oh, yeah, that's, okay. that's the price you got to pay. Yeah, so you got to get the rings. rings well, he's got to break it in. Yeah. Piston rings in a bottle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good old Lucas, Lucas oil. Lucas oil. <laughs> oil. <laughs> oh, oh, what else? Yeah. You gonna put skis on it? Oh yeah, skis in the back. Yeah, the skis. We got the tracks back. in the fr yeah, tracks in the front, skis in the back. But we're taking on elk lake. Bumpers off. Mm -hmm. Two by four lift kit. Yeah. Now you had to take an axe oh, to the gosh. to the quarter panel too. Oh yeah, axe to the firewall. Get that baby out of the mm -hmm. way. What else? Well, not enough clearance I, for the track. Honestly, yeah. I'm considering putting tracks on the Buick because yeah. we went on. The Buick is a nice car though. Exactly. That's why it needs tracks. So right. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know so. Cause too nice for too long. We we took it out on elk, or no no no. Before that, we were setting up for elk, and That's uh, right. you got like a maybe like a twenty degree incline in your driveway, and there's oh, like sure. there's like five inches of snow maybe, yeah. and the Buick just couldn't make it up that hill. No. So I had to put it in reverse and just like send it all the way up. Cause and that we're good. Cause that then it's like it's like rear wheel drive then, and right. then it's got a little bit more traction I mm -hmm. guess, but. So I think I got to do the same setup, but just keep it in reverse. Yeah, I will. It's patent pending. Is so it? So you'll have to come to me for you that. All right, well, I as a kit. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have to cut up your own? Rough sober? country. <laughs> rough country. Makes that. Rough country. Do, I have to, yeah. do I have to go to Zimmer's to get my own 2 by 4 Right, yeah, you do. That is no, the consequence. Okay. Oh, or just, uh, the 2 by 4 don't come in the kit? No. Just the skis? Bolts? It's, it's cut your own. It's like cut to size. D it's, it's like DIY. It's like per, DIY, yeah. yeah it's Some assembly required. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> no batteries included? Or? No. Okay. Right. No yeah. U-bolts included. Yeah. yeah. I'd recommend grade 8. Oh. No. Yeah, the, yeah, the U-bolts aren't appreciating the tar, though. We, did, we did lose a track on the old uh, road the other day. Wow. So that's, that's too bad because the we found the track on the road, and the U-bolt was about a 32nd of an inch thick. So <laughs> yes. got, not a fan of the tar. But for the snow, for the ditch, really good. It's, a, it's a ripper. It's your new fishing mobile. Take that thing on the way. Yeah. Yeah. Get out to the ice yeah, house. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I need to get a way to get it to the lake. Get out to the ice house and the 6 I need a car trailer. Yeah. yeah. The 6 all got stuck, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's... She's a slippery one out there. Yeah, like <laughs> Definitely is. Yes, sir. So, what, else we what about here? the pit? You've been working oh, yeah, the so, new pit a lot. So, last year at IRI, we were uh, just kind of walking around, and we noticed this team had, like, a really nice pit. And we talked to them, and they told us, like, yeah, it was 5460 Strike Force. Strike Force, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we talked to them for a while, and they said, like, they're like, yeah, go on our website. We have CAD files, <laughs> bill of materials, cut list, everything's on there. So we basically just got all that from them. And then me and Eric have welding, too, with our robotics coach, Mr. Yerk. 
So we've me and Eric and Alex Wangren and Anthony Guck. Mm-hmm. They do some on there too. They're but, in the different block. But yeah, they're in yeah. block four, I think. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we just been working on this pit, and hopefully we're gonna pull up to GNR with a really nice painted black, everything blacked out pit. Way easier to set up. Yeah, we don't have to fit. lift that giant structure yeah. up anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna. I'm pretty excited. We've been like last year and this year, we've just been gone from like a crappy trailer that broke leaf springs every time yeah. you tried to you tried to go anywhere. <laughs> Halfway to Detroit, got to pull over and replace leaf springs, mm-hmm. and like a pit that's like got broken toolboxes and everything in mm-hmm. it. You now we're kind of been balling out, I balling guess. Out. On, yeah, I guess so, really. It's on so all the er- ergonomics of the team. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's super nice. Yeah. So, well, maple tops on those? Yeah, maple, maple? and... Uh, wow, really? Maple and oak. Yeah. So, uh, oak insert for the logo. It's going to be sweet. Oh, sick. Our mentor, John, is, and Jim, doing a really good job with that. Yeah, they're mm-hmm. uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so, I think this is week five of the build season, mm-hmm. and... We're we're a little bit behind, but we're we're gonna be fine. But mm-hmm. we're having issues with our failing wheels and our turret are shaking so bad that bolts fly off the turret, yeah. and rattle out. <laughs> so That's like minor. We, yeah, yeah, it's our, it's it's supposed to be that good yeah. for it. Show off. Yeah, I'd really love to be a judge when there's just a robot falling apart right in front of you with the wheels oh, yeah. spinning at eight thousand mm-hmm. RPM. Mm-mm. <laughs> but uh. Mm-mm. Yeah, we tried safety wiring them and everything, and that didn't work. So, mm-hmm. we uh, Michael did Michael, our engineering lead, he did some math and stuff with. Uh, we talked to one of his professor professors, and uh, they decided that it was a residence issue between the uh, our wheels that we have spinning, our rubber wheels that we have spinning at eight thousand RPM, and the aluminum. So now we're uh, switching some parts off to steel, getting those all water jetted out, and. Uh, Hopefully we're gonna see if that buck, that buck's real nice. But, yeah. Sure. Oh, this year though, like we got parts in from uh, uh, our sponsors and mentors that did some machining for us. We got parts in, and we literally bolt we riveted together a drivetrain in like two hours. Yeah, yeah. and it was like what a sixty fourth of an inch yeah, off. Yeah, if from you square. measure from corner to corner, is off by a sixty fourth. We did a great job on that. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of that. Team's like two fifty four, probably like. <laughs> just beefing on us, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's nice when you have machine parts come in. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we had to wait, but Clecos too. Yeah, we used to never even have stuff close to that. Right. It was all in house, half That's inch right. tolerance on the bandsaw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 2018. Right. Is that one minute warning or yeah, one minute warning? Yeah. All right, so uh, I suppose we probably better wrap this up. Yeah, better head out. Been a good time. It's been a great time. Sure. All right. Well, Pleasure doing well, with this. Yep. CIS, we'll see you guys next right. week. Adios.